Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Bag Rewind where I rewind time and I revisit a style that Coach has previously done. Not necessarily still available through Coach.com, but still out there on the resale sites and still available to purchase. Today I have a unicorn for you of mine and just in case you don't know what we mean by unicorn when it comes to the bag world, it is a bag or some sort of leather good that has eluded you. This is one for me. I'm so 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 excited for this. I've looked for this for at least over a year and shout out to Heather. She's a bag friend of mine and I'm so nervous, so excited. Like I said, I've been searching for this for at least a year. And here we are. She writes, Raphael, enjoy your new butte. Can't wait to see her premiere, Heather. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <clears throat> I appreciate the extra bag. So as some coach lovers know, 1941 dust bag. So this is a 1941 piece. My favorite collection, a little fuzzies. We all know, if you didn't know, so the 1941 collection um, was coach premier top end. Every detail, um, the head designer for Coach came over from Louis Vuitton. And so he's been there, he's done that, he knows the details, and he went in on the 1941 collection. It's super special, and it, as time goes by, now that they've technically discontinued it, it's getting harder and harder and harder to find 1941 pieces. So the fact that I came across this, A, I don't know if it was sh such short supply or whoever bought the bags just are holding on to them, but it's really, really, really hard to find. And when you do like the price is more than retail, it's astronomical and I'm glad she was able to offer it to me, but that's enough. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Let's get her out. Gorgeous. Stunning. Stunning. Let's get the clochette. Let's get the hang tie going here. All right, you guys. This is the Coach 1941 Rogue in the regular size in patchwork. I'm a big patchwork fan. These pieces are normally hard to come by. I have another patchwork tote from their previous collection before it was 1941 and I've never seen it on the resale market. Maybe I'll make another video about that, but you guys look at the details. It, we're looking at smooth glove tan leather, we're looking at suede, we're looking at the buffalo embossed leather. I don't know if it's embossed or if it actually is buffalo leather or bison leather, but oh, she is stunning. Look at that. What do we think? And it's got the brass hardware. This is not very common with the 1941 era for them to have the dark bags like black um, with the brass hardware. They normally did the gun metal, which we know over time can chip. So having this with the brass hardware, at first I wasn't a big fan of brass. I just didn't think too much about it until I got my first piece. I'm like, you know what, I'll try it. But what I learned is that I'm not a big fan of the shiny gold. I am a big fan of the brass this so what we have is like mirrored in the front and in the back it's the same patchwork front and back we got the genuine glove tan leather there four feet leather strips this is a second generation rogue and that's not even the best part let's open the, these the zippers and let's get I figured this would be inside. Okay, we have the straps. I love this. But is Heather, this is so smart. 
I did not even think about this. That's where the fuzzies came from. It wasn't cat fur. I was just looking at it like, huh. Um, but this is like fattened, or I believe that's what they call it. Some sort of stuffing that you can buy like at Walmart, Target, to feel like pillows or um, other items of that nature. And she put it in a Ziploc bag. That is so smart. I usually don't put uh, plastic stuffing inside of my bags unless I put in those silica packets, which I'm I normally do anyways, but this is a smart idea, especially for shipping purposes. Instead of like heavy um, paper inside, you can just fill that up. I'm totally going to use that afterwards. All right, let's get these because you guys know I like the extra little details. So I got to have the straps on here. I will say though that this is different than their normal brass. It's a little bit shinier than their regular brass. This is more, it's not shiny gold by any means. It's more like a polished brass rather than like the outlet version of stuff that they normally do or a lot of like the um, New York stuff is they'll use, um, what do they call it, light gold. This is not that, this is just like a polished brass. Stunning, I am so glad. I was able to pick this up, you guys. All right. A little extra on the extra. Look, like those straps just add so much more interest. Like, like the bag needs any help, but you know me, I like extra on extra and that just adds so much more interest to it that I absolutely love. And this is, let me take the tissue paper off, which you guys, when you stuff your rogues, I'm gonna make a video on how to stuff a rogue my way is you fill the center compartment and she did exactly what I do. You get the tissue paper and you put one piece on each side or a total of four, two on each side because where they start to slouch is these corners right here, right here, they start to buckle. So I see a lot of people just filling it up normally in like the suede pockets, not really in the center. They fill it up, they fill it up, but instead of building it up, they build it out and the bag starts to bulge out. I personally am not a big fan of that look. What I do is fill up the center all the way to the top, close that up. And like I said, you stuff those pieces in the corners and you reinforce it and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna keep its shape a lot, lot longer. So it's totally, the Rogue is customizable per person as far as if you want it to be slouchy, if you want it to be more structured, it's just how you take care of the leather is how it's going to be. And that's what I like to do. I like my bags to be on display, very structured normally. Um, but when I use them, I do take everything out and just let the smushiness just happen because this gloved hand leather is the premier leather. And it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's everything to me. Absolutely. Oh gosh, this suede, you guys. Okay, I have to show you guys. The suede is what does it for me. I love suede of any type. And look, oh, that is Mandarin colored suede. The same suede that you see on the outside there is on the inside, but look how much of it there is. You see the back of the patchwork of the piecing and that, I don't know if it's reading on camera um, as bright as it is in person, but it is the perfect shade of orange. And you have all this interest on the outside. And when you get inside, it's like, boom, right in your face. I absolutely love it. I'm glad it's a bright pop of color on the inside rather than just like all over. This gives you a little sneak peek of what the suede is like inside. And just this, look at that. Let me get a little closer, you guys. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. And with this brass hardware, I'm so excited. Super, super excited. Look at that. Look at, I mean, just look at that angle. You have the black pebbled leather on the side with that brass hardware. This has given me first generation uh, Rogue with the leather, that's just the right amount of slouch. It is stunning, stu stu stunning. 
And I'll keep you guys a look on the inside because if you're not too familiar with the robes, they're all pretty much going to have the same setup. It varies a little bit whether if you get the regular size, the 25. So here we go. So we have the usual setup. We have the, the zipper on this side with the Creed. And on this side, we have the Kiss Lock, which they no longer do because right now they currently have the 25. But... You guys, there is a 30 coming, another regular size like this. Stick around until December. Little Birdie has told me that there is a new Rogue 30, a few of them actually that are coming out. So if you're a fan of the Rogue, specifically the regular size, and you were bummed that Coach <clears throat> only brought back the 17, 25, and 39, stick around because you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. You guys see how shiny that is in a good way not like gold shiny but brass quality hardware shiny this is stunning heather i don't know how you parted with this but i'm glad you did let's see it has on the patch it says rg20315 um which confuses some people that that is the style number that is not for the rogue that is a generic style number on these ones you inside the zipper oh it even has the original tag so this is style 54552 in the color black multi patchwork rogue bag msrp is 950 dollars so if you have a rogue that is 20315 on the patch pull out the pocket and on the pocket do you guys see that tab right there that little tag that's the actual style number for it let me see so I said style number was 54552, and you see right there, 54552. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. But that will tell you, so if it says RG20315, I believe that's the number, 20315, on the Creed on the inside here, it tells you that there. That means it's an earlier generation. Um, they put it on the first generation. They put it on the earlier versions of the second generation. So if clearly it doesn't have the zippers with the lock and key and the key leash on the inside, it is not a first generation. But if it says 20315 on the style, um, for the style number on the, the patch inside, that just means you have an earlier generation, second generation bag. This is an amazing shape. The only things that I see is it's more so, I mean, there's a couple marks down here at the bottom, but I don't know if you guys can see the variations in the leather, which it's smooth leather. You're going to get the variations. It's um, either from barbed wire, stretch marks. We're all, we all seen that. So I'm not gonna judge the cow for having that, but you guys, the back of the tag is sway. Orange suede, just give you more of a peep of what the inside is is like, and I'm so ex so excited. And do you see like the color of the canvas, the 1941 Jacquard canvas in there? It's got like an orange hue to it. I love that they do that. It just reminds you what the color scheme of the rest of the bag is. For my non-rogue um, people who don't have any rogues in your collection, actually this one's a lot better, but you will always have, it has two zippers, you will always have one zipper on it that glides like butter, but for some reason the other zipper is a little bit harder to deal with, it gets stuck a little bit, you have to hold on to the zipper belt, which I'm glad why they put this extra zipper belt material in down here, but <clears throat> It would always happen with one of the zippers, but a little remedy to that, which it won't get rid of it, but it will help a lot, is you get some wax paper or a candle. I like to use wax paper because it's very little wax that's on there compared to like a candle. You can possibly go crazy. Then it gets on the suede. The last thing you want to do is try to clean wax off a of suede. So you'll just get the wax paper and you'll pinch it on the zipper and you just rub it back and forth on each side. That helps lubricate the zipper up a little bit more and it'll help glide that zipper across. These colors, this is, I mean, if I had to guess, this is an olive, this is a oxblood. This seems to be the same color as my Prussian blue um, rogue 
course we got the black embossed or it could be actual buffalo i don't know we have chalk and mandarin suede i believe is the color of the orange and it's just repeated on the other side the side gussets are black glove tan pebbled leather and i'm just absolutely head over heels in love thank you heather and for you guys that this is a unicorn of yours keep waiting patiently because they will pop up they do pop up kind of pricey that's why i've waited for so long and i normally see them way way above msrp but this one i've only been able to find one on the resale market and it sold earlier this year and i haven't seen any since so when i seen this i screamed inside and i immediately messaged joseph and i was like i think i need it i mean it's a little bit more than i usually pay for rogues usually but in my opinion if you're gonna splurge on anything coach rogue is the way to go especially these um earlier examples they seem to have held their value and in some instances actually have appreciated instead of depreciated this being one of them and this is going to be a forever piece for me i look at this as like a piece of art this is wearable art this is giving me vintage vibes with these colors but in the best way possible Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much, Heather. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, your subscriptions, your views, your comments. And I try to get to every single comment. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Bag Rewind. I'm going to go enjoy this. You guys have an amazing day. You guys are beautiful. I'll see you next time. Bye.